plasma membrane of a bacterial cell super fast division plasma membrane of the bacteria is lipoproteinous and trilaminar but differ in certain characteristics number 1 sterol molecules like cholesterol are absent in bacterial cell plasma membrane of some bacteria has pentacyclic sterol like molecules called opioids it has location of enzymes of certain metabolic processes that is respiration enzyme of etc plasma membrane of gram positive bacteria is invaginated to form mesosomes it causes compartmentation and allow exchange of materials between these compartments to maintain constant interval environment protects cell from injury carrier proteins of plasma membrane help in active transport and plasma membrane is a selective permeable selectively permeable ya differentially permeable ya semi permeable membrane which regulates the exchange of materials between the cytoplasm and extracellular interstitial fluid it is a dynamic membrane which semi permeability depends upon a number of mechanisms number 1 passive transport and number 2 active transport modification of plasma membrane in order to perform a specific function the plasma membrane of a cell shows different modifications number 1 microvilli 2 glycocalyx 3 pores 4 endocytotic vesicles 5 sheaths and 6 junctional complexes junctional complexes are of five types a interdigestions b tight junctions c desmosomes d gap junctions and e plasmodesmata number 1 microvilli microvilli these are finger finger like electron microscopic evagations found on free surfaces of plasma membrane of intestinal cells these form brush border these are about 3000 microvilli per intestinal cell these increase the surface area of digestion and absorption number 2 glycocalyx it is an extracellular coat of glycoproteins cov- covering the interstitial intestinal cell it protects the cells from digestive enzymes 3 pores these are a small size 7 to 10 angstrom pores in the plasma membrane which can be opened or closed depending upon metabolic requirements endocytotic vesicles these are pit like in folds of plasma membrane to receive either a large site liquid droplet pinocytic otic vesicle ya a solid particle phagocytotic vesicle during the process of endocytosis junctional complexes junctional complexes are binding bodies between adjacent cell membranes these are of following type a interdigestions b tight junctions c desmosomes d gap junctions and e plasmodesmata a interdigestions these are finger like processes of adjacent cell membranes fitting into each other and help in interlocking these also increase the surface area of contact for exchange of materials b tight junctions in these junctional complexes the outer protein layers of adjacent cell membranes fuse so that there is no intercellular space these also help in cell adhesion c desmosomes in these intercellular space increase to 300 to 500 angstrom and is filled with a cementing material of proteins each cell membrane has a button like thickening of proteins which gives supporting tonofibrils in the cytoplasm the desmosomes help in mechanical support and cell adhesion spot welds so called transmembranes linkers desmosomes gap junctions in these adjacent cell membranes are joined by protein pipes each having a gap of 20 angstrom these help in exchange of materials ions and small molecules and e plasmodesmata these are cytoplasmic strands which pass through the primary cell walls of adjacent plant cells these also help in exchange of materials 
and passive transport let's study the passive transport passive transport it is characterized by a material moves along the concentration gradient b it is not energy dependent so it's slow c the substances can't be transported completely d it is not affected by low temperature absence of oxygen presence of cyanides etc e direction of transport varies so so by directional transport it depends upon the direction of concentration gradient f carrier molecules may or may not be involved the physical processes involve diffusion and osmosis are passive transport diffusion it is the transport of materials solids liquids or gases from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration due to random movements brownian movements due to their kinetic energy and materials may be in the form of molecules atoms or ions diffusion of non electrolytes when a cuso4 crystal is placed in beaker of water you see the diffusion of non electrolytes diffusion rate diffusion rate is directly proportional to the concentration differences across the cell membrane and temperature diffusion rate is inversely proportional to the density of the medium and the molecular weight of diffusing particles diffusion along the pressure gradient gases always diffuse from a region of higher partial pressure to a region of lower partial pressure along the pressure gradient that is exchange of gas in external respiration at lung alveoli facilitated or carrier mediated diffusion sometimes diffusion through cell membrane is speeded by some carrier protein molecules called permeases present in the cell membrane intestinal absorption of fructose and nucleotides are the example of facilitated carrier mediated diffusion significance of diffusion a it helps in the uniform distribution of substances inside the cytoplasm b the scented flowers release the, their odoriferous chemicals in the air these chemicals diffuse into the air to attract pollinating agents c it helps in respiratory gas exchange d transpiration in plants occurs by diffusion osmosis it is the transport of water or any other solvent molecules from a region of lower concentration or higher water potential to a region of higher concentration or lower water potential through a semi permeable membrane it doesn't allow the movement of solute particles tonicity greek word tonos stress tonicity is the tension or a stress developed in a system due to presence of osmotically active substances in it on the basis of tonicity solutions are of three types isotonic solution hypertonic solution and hypotonic solution first dekhte hain isotonic solution it is that solution whose concentration or some osmotic pressure or concentration as that of cytoplasm osmosis occurs equally in both directions that is 0.9% sodium chloride solution and 5% glucose solution is the isotonic solution drugs are injected into the blood in isotonic solution hypertonic solution it is that solution whose concentration or osmotic pressure is higher than that of cytoplasm osmotic outflow of water from the cell called exosmosis that is 2% sodium chloride solution ya 10% glucose solution is hypertonic solution when rbcs are placed in hypertonic solutions rbcs becomes smaller and crenated hypotonic solution it is that solution whose concentration or osmotic pressure is less than that of cytoplasm so there is osmotic inflow of water into the cell called endosmosis that is when rbcs are placed in hypotonic solution that is 0.5% sodium chloride then rbcs become solid and aspherical significance of osmosis 
Number one, it helps in absorption of water from the soil by root hairs. Number two, it helps in developing treasure pressure which helps in opening and closing of a stomata and movements of leaflets in mimosa pudica touch me not. Third, it helps in cell to cell movement of water and fourth, it maintains turgidity of cells which help in deeper penetration of roots, extension of leaves, stretching of a stem etc. Fifth, it helps in growth of radical and plumule during seed germination. Significance of osmosis. So, we have seen it. Now, differences between diffusion and osmosis. From higher concentration or higher free energy to lower concentration or lower free energy is diffusion. From lower concentration to higher concentration is osmosis. May be solid or liquid or gas in diffusion. In osmosis, always water or any other solvent molecules. Diffusion in any medium. Osmosis always in only liquid medium. Diffusion semi-permeable membrane may or may not be required. Osmosis semi-permeable membrane always required. Diffusion os pressure, diffusion ke liye, or osmosis ke liye, osmotic pressure. Now let's be in the new chapter plasmolysis and deplasmolysis in the to new topic. Plasmolysis and deplasmolysis. Plasmolysis. When a living plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, then exoosmosis occurs from the central vacuole. The protoplasm starts separating from the cell wall called incipient plasmolysis. In this process continues, then finally the protoplasm is completely separated from the cell wall called evident plasmolysis. This phenomenon when a fully turgid solid protoplasm cell changes into flaccid shrunken cytoplasm cell is called plasmolysis and the cell is called plasmolyzed. Deplasmolysis when a plasmolyzed cell is placed in a hypotonic solution then endoosmosis occurs. The protoplasm increases in size and finally comes in contact with the cell wall to re regain original turgid condition. This phenomenon when a flaccid or plasmolyzed cell Changes into a cell with turgid condition is called deplasmolysis and the cell is called deplasmolyzed. Significance of plasmolysis. It is a practice to know living nature of cells. It is used to kill the weeds and earthworms in lawn tennis courts by salting. It is used to preserve meat, jelly, etc. as their salting kills bacteria and spores of fungi by plasmolysis. And fourth, it is used to determine the osmotic pressure. Active processes. New topic. Active processes characterized by a materials move against the concentration gradient B. These are energy dependent processes, so are rapid processes at C. Materials can be transported completely. Active processes characterized by these are highly affected by low temperature, absence of oxygen and presence of cyanide's metabolic inhibitors. These occur through a semi-permeable membrane and movement of molecules or ions in unidirectional. These are selective processes, so always involve carrier molecules. The active processes involve active transport, endocytosis and exocytosis. Active transport. It is energy dependent transport of micromolecules or ions across a semi-permeable membrane against the concentration or electrochemical gradient. Significance of active transport. It helps in controlling osmoregulation. B. It helps in muscle contraction and nerve impulse conduction. C. It also helps in intestinal absorption of sugars and amino acids. D. It helps in maintaining high intracellular potassium plus concentration which in turn help in many other vital metabolic activities. E. Many seabirds like seagulls and penguins expel excess of salts, especially sodium chloride by active transport through their nasal salt glands. F help in intrahepatic circulation of bile salts and G selective reabsorption of useful materials like glucose, amino acids and sodium plus from the nephric filtrate. Now 
इंडोसाइटोसिस एंड इक्सोसाइटोसिस इंडोसाइटोसिस इंडोसाइटोसिस ग्रीक वर्ड इंडोन विदिन काइटोस सेल इट इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच लार्ज साइज लिक्विड और सॉलिड मटेरियल्स आर टेकन इनसाइड द सेल थ्रू प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इट इज अगेन ऑफ टू टाइप्स पिनोसाइटोसिस एंड फैगोसाइटोसिस पिनोसाइटोसिस ग्रीक वर्ड पिनेन मींस टू ड्रिंक also called cell drinking is the process which involves intake of large size liquid nutrients while the cell showing pinocytosis is called pinocyte extracellular solutes such as insulin and lipoproteins are taken into a pocket formed by invagination of plasma membrane are and called pinocytotic vesicles it later separates from the cell membrane as an intracellular food vacuum called pino Pinojome. Pinojome is digested by the hydrolytic enzymes of primary lysosomes. That is, intestinal epithelial cells take micelle by pinocytosis. Phagocytosis. Phagocytosis, Greek word phagrin, means to eat. To it also called cell eating is the process which involves the intake of large size solid particles, including cellular debris and microbes. First observed by Machenikov in 1883. In this, the material to be ingested first binds to the cell surface, which invaginates to form a phagocytotic vesicle. It later separates from cell membrane as an intracellular food vacuum called phagosome. Phagosome is digested by the hydrolytic enzymes of primary lysosome. Cell involved in phagocytosis are called phagocytes. that is wbcs and macrophages remove damaged cells viruses bacteria and dust particles exocytosis greek word hai exos outside exocytosis also called emiocytosis or cell vomiting or ephagy it is expelling of large site materials outside cell through cell membrane in exocytotic vesicles which moves outwards fuses with plasma membrane and the contents are discharged outside the cell that is a release of secretions of glandular cells of liver pancreas etc and b expelling of residual body transport mechanisms two transport mechanisms passive processes and active processes in passive processes we study diffusion osmosis passive transport and facilitated diffusion In active processes, we study active transport, endocytosis, pinocytosis, phagocytosis, and exocytosis. These are the two transport mechanisms. Okay, we study in the next chapter. Yeah, in the next topic, in the next class. Thank. You.